So, hello again, my dear friends. You see, I have a power amplifier right here. That's the guy. Well, I clean it and check it. Everything is fine. And uh, I just uh, put on two speakers output for the loudspeakers. And what I want to do today is to check the output power of this uh, guy. You know, theoretically, we should have 250 watts on uh, 8 ohms per channel. It's exactly what I'm going to try to do today. Kind of noisy. My solar install is working big time. Sunshine outside and it's a beautiful atom. Here I have my... Uh, signal generator power on let's check with the oscilloscope if we have any signal so uh, black is ground and white it's signal uh, yeah it's looking like we have something there no of course not <laughs> because the wire just went out from the screw funny okay there we go. Still nothing. Who comes? Only gibberish. What's wrong here? Hmm? We are on the right frequency here. This is ground. And this is sinusoidal output. Okay. Let me try another 12 volts from here. And we are lucky. Now it's working. Yeah. Perfect. I got 12 volts from my solar install. And uh, let's check the frequency. Okay, one kilohertz. So we got signal. Let me check. Let me check the impedance. Because we're going to have two tests. We have only one loudspeaker connected. And we had 13.7 ohms. Oh my God. What's wrong here? Let me change the cable. Let's see now. 13.26 ohms. That's kind of strange. It's not calibrated or what? Oh yes, it is. Okay. 13.36 ohms let's write this down but you know something let me have another loudspeaker there so we have now two loudspeakers in parallel let's see about 6.67 okay and if i add another one let me have maybe i can reach four so now i got three loudspeakers in parallel each of them eight ohms let's see what's happening theoretically eight ohms 4 Oman 47. We are good. Okay, so this kind of uh, resistance impedance meter, it's kind of special. It's applying a 1000 Hertz and measuring the level. So we got three impedances here, 13.36, 6.67, and then 4.83 ohms. Okay, let's do the mambo jumbo. We'll do the first test with 13.36 ohms at the output. Here I have the oscilloscope, the probe it's on 10x and uh, that's the ground and that's the hot wire. Okay, the other it's in the air and power on. The relays are on so theoretically we have uh, a working power amplifier. Nothing else to do but apply a signal. Which of them? It's not this one. Nothing? Well, something wrong happening here. The amplifier is going on. I can hear the relays on and off. Okay, let's try again. That's the ground and that's a signal here. Let me have a capacitor to the output. Uh, it's very possible to have a kind of uh, leak, you know, DC leak. And now I have a 0 0.33 microfarads on the output power on. Perfect. Frequency up to one kilohertz. Right, you see, these are really loudspeaker, and we are looking at this voltage here, RMS. Okay, let's put it up. That's the maximum at 30.01 volts. 40.01 volts at 1000 hertz. RMS, of course. Well, the amplifier is a little bit hot. Okay, and the last test is with 4 ohms. Okay, let's crank the volume. 
36.3. Okay, that's channel number one. Let's go to channel number two and do exactly the same amount. Uh, we change the signal here and of course the oscilloscope should go to the other channel. Absolutely. There we go. Power on. Let's crank the volume. Okay. Six ohms. 38.41. 40.41. Same story. Okay, let's change the frequency. Let's go down to 100 Hertz. 165 Hertz, that's fine. That should be fine. Let's volume up. 38 volts. 33 volts. Okay, 33 with all the loudspeakers here. So 165, 33 volts. Okay, what about 36 volts, 4.48 kilohertz, and we have like 36.2 volts. Well, I think that's enough. This is the first part, I mean the practical test. I believe that's okay. Then we'll go upstairs and check the numbers. Let's do all the mathematical and find out the really power of this power amplifier. So far it's working good, a little bit warm, not hot, but warm. I think it's a good amplifier. Let's see, 28 degrees. Are you kidding? It's nothing. Okay, so let's crank some numbers, people. If you remember, we had three kind of uh, loudspeakers. Um, okay, let's say channel one, channel two with 13.36. Uh, ohms loudspeaker and uh, first we had the 1000 hertz test and channel 1 reached 40.01 channel 2 reached 14.41 then we had the uh, 6.67 ohms with 1000 hertz channel 1 reached 39.11 and the other guy 38.11 41 volts rms of course everything it's volts rm and then with 4.83 ohms at 1000 hertz channel 1 went up to 36.3 and 36.7 for channel 2 of course volts everything here it's volts rms okay then we had the the second test with uh, 165 hertz I just did it for channel 2, 165 hertz, and channel 2 reached 38 volts. And uh, this one here with 165 hertz, channel 2 reached 33 volts. And just for fun, I had a last test on channel 2 with 4480 hertz, 4.4 kilohertz, and this guy reached. 36.2 now if we consider the mathematical uh, formula power equals v squared on the resistance then we can very simple calculate what was happening so let's start with this guy so we have the volts squared that means 14.01 times 40.01 1600.8 divide by 13.36 that gives 119 watts 119.8 watts let's go to the next 39.11 times 39.11 1529 divided by 6 point 67 that gives 229 229 watts very close to specification on six ohms now the last one let's see here we have 36.6 times 36.6 okay 1.339 divided by 4.83 272 watts perfect let's do that for the second uh, channel 122 watts at 1000 hertz with 13.36 ohms okay next 
221 okay and the last 278 watts pretty close very close very nice power super power okay let's check this one with 165 kilohertz we have here 38 volts 108 watts okay let's check this guy at 4480 hertz and we got 196 very good and the last one of course 225 watts at 165 hertz okay these are the numbers people so uh, what can i say the amplifier it's working as it should it gives me uh, 272 watts at 1000 hertz with 4.83 ohms i think on 4 ohms it's going even farther maybe 300 watts or something so i'm absolutely delighted about that uh, power amplifier it's a class ab a classic power amplifier so i have no doubts about the quality of the sound of that kind of amplifiers so that's it for today if you find this useful please like and subscribe and uh, mostly don't forget have fun bye bye